Hey guys, what's up? Time to review Aquaman number seven. Now, since the beginning, I've told you that I've become a huge Aquaman f uh, fan on this Jeff Johns run, which is still weird for me to say, but I have, and I've enjoyed every issue, and this one continues that tradition. I, uh, I really like this issue. It's kind of the, uh, past, you know, last issue focused more on the Atlanteans, and this is starting to focus on the others. And it involves the return, not so much the return, but the first appearance of Black Mantra. And, or... First appearance in New 52 in Aquaman, I guess, but all that, yeah. But anyway, uh, it's it's a very interesting concept, and it's I'm curious to see where Jeff Johns takes this, because you can tell that he's connecting it a lot to the past of Aquaman, but I'm wondering to see how much he's going to change, if he's going to keep it all the same, or what. But overall, this is a really enjoyable book. It is just the starting of this new arc, uh, and the only downside is it is it da. Sorry, the only downside to it, the downside that kind of all the Aquamans have had, which are, they're very quick reads. And Aquaman and Swamp Thing have both done this for me, and I don't know if maybe it's a combination of they're some of my favorites, and I'm just, you know, really liking it, and really want to get through it and see what all happens, or what. But they're, they're really, really quick reads. But that being said, I'd still say this is a... 8 out of 10. It's not the greatest issue out of it, but it's still a very solid, very good one. And if you're a fan of Aquaman or the series, you'll loving it. You'll continue to love this issue. Uh, if you're not reading it, pick up Aquaman. I know <coughs> sounds weird to say. Pick it up. It's very good. It's one of my favorites in New 52. So yeah, Aquaman, number 7, 8 out of 10.